All right guys, American Trucker here, bringing you one more video, just a little health and fitness tip. You start working out, now you can do as many of these as you want, you can do them as long as you want. You can do sets and rest in between, but here is, in my opinion, is a good um, exercise to do pre-workout and post-workout. Um, it's called, well, I don't know if there's even an official name for it, but I do, a, it's called a lunge crunch. So a lunge crunch. So I do 15 of these, turn around, do 15 more. I'm just gonna give you a real quick uh, tutorial on what to do. Um, knees at a 90 degree angle, back straight. And then uh, of course you wanna try to touch your elbow to your knee when you do the crunch. Um, let me show you real quick what it looks like. Um, I'll be right back. All right, guys, sorry, I know I'm sweaty, hot. I just got to run about three, three miles, 3.1 actually, um, which is 5K. Some of you guys are not particularly runners, but uh, you gotta get out here. As you can see, this beautiful, I got miles and miles of trails. I got gray hair everywhere. Anyways, I got miles and miles of trails here in, the, uh, in nature. It's beautiful out here, peaceful. Nobody bothered me. You can see the trails right on both sides are well, well marked and uh, um, plenty of them. So and when I get done, I'm actually at a place called Panther Creek. It's in Hamblin County, Morristown, Tennessee. Uh, Hamblin County, Tennessee. It's a state park. So if you get a chance to come here, I would definitely recommend it. There's plenty of trails, trails to start walking on, running on. Uh, there's beginner trails, uh, intermediate and uh, you know more advanced trails. There's low elevation all the way down to the actual lake. It's called Panther Creek State Park, but there's a creek that runs into a lake. And so there's low elevation runs that you can do, which would be more easier because, you know, as we know, elevation as you go up, the oxygen gets thinner, it gets harder to breathe. And then for the more advanced, there's a place at the very top, it's actually a lookout, looks over the entire lake. Um, it's pretty neat, but you can run up there, uh, run all the way around down to the bottom of the lake, and then run back up the hill, which is gnarly as far as elevation goes. But it's about three miles as well, so I like to put together about three mile, 3.1 mile uh, courses. Um, but I mean, there's there's literally, I don't know, there's got to be at least 100 miles of trails through here, you know. And most of them are marked if you stay like, by color, and um, if you've been ever trail running before, you'll know that they, when they switch from one trail to another, you stay on the same color. And then, of course, hopefully you look at the map before you get started, and you'll kind of know what direction you're going. But um, I don't want to get in all the safety stuff. But anyways, trail running is a great thing to get started on. Trail walking, and then you can work your way up to jogging and then running. Um, and it makes you be a little more attentive, one, of nature. But two, there's rocks out here. There's um, a bunch of roots, things like that you kind of got to watch out for. So you can't just zone out um, and start thinking too much about how hard it is or how hot it is or how tired you are. Uh, you kind of really got to focus on the ground in front of you. Ten feet in front of you is about what I look out for um just to make sure i don't trip um there's plenty of trip hazards most time in, in some places that you trail run definitely here at panther creek state park but uh all right man just a quick little video just want to bring you guys let you guys know of a little exercise that i do that's one of about five exercises i do pre run and then some cool down exercises that's one of them i do as well to kind of cool down um, and rest a little bit but especially you truck drivers or anybody who's sedentary most of the day secretaries anybody who sits doesn't move around a lot throughout the day um cardio 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 i know you, i lift weights as well but i prefer cardio 10 times to one and this is my favorite thing to do is trail running I'll, I'll i'll run anywhere on a trail all across this country so it's pretty cool um and like i said when i get done there's a lake right down here right where i park at so i just go for a dip in the lake get all the sweat off of me dry off i take a towel with me and then um that way when i get back into my vehicle you know, I'm not too bad off, and then I go take a shower after that. But at least a, a lake bath is better than, you know, straight sweat. So, all right, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, and I'll give you more tips and tricks and more exercises you can do. Um, I try to do as many body weights as possible. That way you don't have to be at a gym or, you know, you can do this at your house or, you know, without any particular weights or it don't cost any money. Just get you some earphones if, if you have them, which most people do. Get you a phone, something to listen to, some music. Um start today you know don't say i'm going to start tomorrow start today 
I don't care if it's stretching. Do something today to better yourself uh, physically, and in turn, it should make you better mentally as you progress, right? Lose a few pounds, uh, get your cardio up, you'll start to feel a little better mentally, and we know those both go tandem, um, uh, you know, side by side together. When one goes up, the other goes up, one goes down, the other goes down usually. That's how it works. So if you can start working on your physical, um, it doesn't matter where you start, right? It just matters that you start. It don't matter how much you're overweight. It don't matter, you know, you know how much you can lift, how fast you can run. It just matters that you get started. That's step one. All right. And then you can kind of build from there. But anyways, that was my tip for today. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, share this video if you want with someone else. And uh, leave a comment on some other exercises that you may want to see or body parts that you want to target. Right. And I know I got it. I, I need to make one about the stomach because that's everybody's biggest one. They want to lose 10, 15, 20 pounds on their stomach. Um, and that's a hard one. But it's easier than you think it is as far as the information the hard part is doing it i could tell you what to do to get your stomach lose 10 15 20 pounds i promise you i could tell you what to do most people aren't willing to deal it do it they want the quick right take a pill or you know do this something real easy or easy exercise or, or something like that it's neither one of those i promise you so stay tuned um i'll tell you how to lose 10 15 20 pounds in uh sensible amount of time you know two months right you can lose 15 pounds in two months with no problem um there's plenty of examples out there of people that do it every single day and uh but anyways all right subscribe to my channel you know my motto you don't quit when you're tired you stop when you're finished american trucker i'm out